In this video, I will compare DocuSign versus Dropbox Sign and tell you which of these e-signature tools may be best for you and your needs. So I'll compare them in terms of their features, ease of use, pricing, and overall which one I think is best. So you can see DocuSign under Solutions, you can see kind of what it does. So the use cases are for HR, legal, and procurement. But in terms of the actual features, you have, of course, e-signature, which is the main feature. But then you also have contract lifecycle management, identify, document generation, web forms, electronic notarization, multi-channel delivery, and APIs. Now, if you click view all products, you will see some more features included in DocuSign. Now, Dropbox Sign is pretty similar. You can see under products, you can sign, they have a sign API as well, and you can send faxes. Then they also have integrations with different tools such as Slack, Dropbox, HubSpot, Salesforce, and more. So in terms of pricing, with DocuSign, it depends on what you want to get. So if you just want e-signature, then you can see their pricing here. If you pay monthly, then for the personal plan, it's $15 per month. In this plan, you can send five agreements for signature each month. Then the most popular plan is the standard plan at $45 per month per user. And this is for small to medium teams. And Business Pro is $65 per month per user. And this is for automating and optimizing agreements with advanced features. Now they also have e-signature real estate, developer API, and IAM, and these have different pricing, but the e-signature is most similar to the Dropbox sign. Now Dropbox signs pricing also depends on whether you want a normal Dropbox sign or API, but let's say you want a normal one and you want to bill monthly, then the essentials plan is for an individual at 17 euros and 50 cents per month. And then the standard plan is for small teams at 29 euros per user per month and premium has custom pricing. So should you use DocuSign or Dropbox Sign? Both Dropbox Sign and DocuSign are excellent e-signature platforms with similar workflows and outputs. But in the end, they are ideal for different use cases. Dropbox Sign is easier to use and more affordable, especially for single users and small businesses. But, on the other hand, DocuSign offers advanced features that make agreement processes easier and better for bigger teams. So if you're looking for more of an advanced e-signature tool, or I would also say if you are in real estate, then I would go with DocuSign. If you are looking for an easier to use and a little bit less advanced, but for small teams cheaper tool, then I would go with Dropbox Sign. It will allow you to add signatures to documents that are legally binding. So that is what they both do. But on top of that, DocuSign has some more additional and more advanced features, whereas Dropbox Sign has very few. So that concludes this comparison of DocuSign versus Dropbox Sign. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.